Hey everyone, welcome back to another two-dimensional kinematics problem, projectile motion example three. So in this situation, Romeo is chucking pebbles gently up to Juliet's window, and he wants the pebbles to hit the window with only a horizontal component of velocity. He is standing at the edge of a rose garden 5.0 meters below her window, and 4.5 meters from the base of the wall. How fast are the pebbles going when they hit her window? So here is the image that is given in the problem. So here you got Romeo, okay? Here's the wall, Juliet's window. You've got the uh, upward trajectory of the pebble. And notice at the top, there's only a horizontal component. That's what we're going for. Okay, so from where he releases the pebble to where it hits her window, there is a wide displacement of 5.0 meters. And as it says in the question, he's 4.5 meters away from the base of the wall. Okay, so let's revisit this again. So the, we're asked to find this. How fast are the pebbles going when they hit her window? Okay, so because it only has a horizontal component of velocity, we're looking for uh, the speed in the x direction. Now, before we even get started, let's define our positive direction. So because the motion of this problem in the majority is up and to the right, I'm going to let up and to the right be positive. All right, so... Next, I'm going to start adding some more information to this diagram based on what we know, so our variables. Okay, so they give us the vertical displacement, the horizontal displacement. Okay, I also know acceleration in the y direction. It's 9.8 meters per second squared, but remember, because I defined up to be positive, it's minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, um, you see here where he lets go of the pedal, pebble. I'm going to let that be the initial y. So I'm going to let that be y not equals zero meters. And it reaches a height up here, right? So this is going to be your y final. So your y, which is equal to five meters. Okay. Um, <clears throat> my initial y value, I don't know for the speed. Um, but I do know that the final y speed is zero, because we only want this, the pebble to have a horizontal component of velocity. So Vy is zero meters per second, so that's something else we know. Um, let's do some symmetry here. We said the acceleration in the y direction is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Let's define our acceleration in the x direction. And as mentioned in the previous videos, because this is projectile motion, uh, projectile motion means only gravity is affecting something. So that's the only force acting on it. Of course, ignoring air resistance. All right, so that means acceleration in the x direction is zero, and we need to find vx. So there we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off in the x direction, since this is the original thing that we're trying to find. Okay, so how fast are the pebbles going? That means we're looking for vx. Okay, now the initial x speed and the final x speed are the same because the acceleration in the x direction is non-existent. So we can make the statement vx equals v naught x, okay? And that's since ax equals zero. Now, again, because ax equals zero in the x direction, we can say that speed is equal to distance over time. Distance in the x direction, we're gonna quote as x, time is time. Now, here's what we're looking for. We know x, right? That's back here in this picture. X is equal to four and a half meters. So all we need is T. Now, hopefully you're seeing some symmetry with the other projectile motion problems. Okay, so you have X is four and a half meters. You're always usually left with time unknown in one direction and you find it from the other direction. That is the only thing common when you're doing these component problems. Okay, so T, we're gonna say determine from y direction. So let's go ahead and do that now. So get, get a new heading here going. Y direction. Okay, so let's look back to what we're given in the problem. All right, so we're given acceleration in the y direction, or we know it. We know our final y. We know our initial y. We know our final y speed. So why don't we go ahead and find the initial y speed right here where it starts off? Okay, that's going to help us. 
the more variables you find, the easier it will be to solve your problem. Okay, so we can go ahead and use this kinematics formula. 2ay delta y equals vy squared minus vy naught squared. Okay, we know everything here except vy naught. Right, so let's determine that. Okay, so rearranging this formula for vy naught, we're going to get <coughs> vy naught squared equals vy squared minus 2ay delta y. Okay, let's take the square root of both sides. vy squared minus 2ay delta y. Like I mentioned in the previous video, good practice when solving physics uh, problems. Always simplify the expression first before plugging your numbers in. It makes things a lot easier. Okay, so now we've simplified it. Um, this delta y, this is a change, right? So this is actually y final, which is just y, minus y initial, which is y naught. Okay, so let's start plugging our numbers in. So like I mentioned earlier, vy, the final component of the velocity, should have no y direction because it only is supposed to have a horizontal component of velocity. So 0 squared minus 2 acceleration in the y, that's going to be negative 9.8 meters per second squared times delta y. y minus y naught. Okay, so y naught is 0, so we don't even need to worry about that. So we just simply plug in our y value, which is 5.0 meters. Okay, when you go ahead, you plug that all into your calculator, you're going to get vy naught is equal to 9.9 .9 meters per second. So you might be asking, how is that going to help? We know v naught y. Okay, what does that do for us? Well, remember, the reason we did this in the first place was to find time, right? Now, by knowing the initial y speed, we know the initial y speed, we know the final y speed, we know the acceleration in the y direction, and if you remember, based on our definition of acceleration, acceleration is the change uh, in velocity over time. We can just um, specialize this for the y direction. So acceleration in the y direction is the change in velocity in the y direction over time. Okay, so delta Vy, that's the final V minus the initial, so Vy minus V naught Y over time. And we're looking for time, so let's rearrange this for time. You need to multiply both sides by time, divide both sides by acceleration Y. You're going to end up with T equals Vy minus V naught Y over Ay. Now we know everything here, we can determine time. Okay, so Vy is 0, V naught Y we just determined, it's 9.9 .9 meters per second, and acceleration in the Y direction is negative 9.80 meters per second squared. When you plug that into your calculator, you're going to get the time to be 1.01 .01 seconds. You take this number, you plug back into formula for Vx, right? That's the whole thing. We're trying to find how fast the pebbles are going when they hit Juliet's window. So let's do that. <clears throat> so going back to what we had originally, remember our simple expression, speed is distance over time. It's just uh, specialized for the x direction. Okay, so our x is 4.5 meters that was given in the problem and we just found our time to be 1.01 seconds. So do that simple division and you're going to get Vx equals 4.45 meters per second. Okay. Now one last step, we have to account for sig figs. So we need to have two sig figs in our final answer. So this will round to Vx equals 4.4 meters per second. Okay, so we can say therefore when the pebbles hit Juliet's window they are going 4.4 meters per second. Okay, so hopefully a lot of similar stuff you saw in this video compared to the other projectile motion. Um, you start in one direction, you're usually left with an unknown. That unknown is usually time. 
you find the time from the other direction, plug it back into your original formula, and usually that does the trick. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give that like button a click and subscribe to Physics in the Flesh so you never miss a video from me. I post daily, so be sure to be on my channel every day at 12 to catch my latest video. Take care, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.